One day, a different garment from the other day. What does that mean? It means that when there was a Jew whose whole life was acting one way, and he was wearing certain garments, it has nothing to do with clothing, but he was behaving a certain way, and then he's able to change his garments. He's able to change his ways. Allah has come of a kama. If you and I know somebody, another Jew, and we're able to be makar of that person, but to bring that person to change his garments from what he used to be, what he used to wear, so, and to bring him close to the tzaddik, and this is the whole avod of the tzaddikim, I did tzaddik ador shu bechines yosef. Because what's the Indian of a tzaddik? The Indian of a tzaddik is constantly changing. Constantly changing. Constantly putting on new garments. What he wore in the morning, he's not wearing in the afternoon. In the afternoon, he's not at the night. The tzaddik always feels that he hasn't even started. I've explained many times. And that's why the tzaddik, Yosef, has such tremendous ability to be Makar v'chokim, to bring them back to Hashem. Makar v'chol par m'chokim Yosef. Why? Kibakoach is gabrusa, because the tzaddik himself is constantly changing. Constantly, has to be Makar of himself, closer and closer, and changing his own garments in Avodos Hashem. And because of that, since he's always starting again, l'haschil v'chol par m'chodosh, kilo maschil ato l'avodos Hashem. The tzaddik is feeling ki'ilu, the tzaddik always feels ki'ilu, he's just beginning now. To serve Hashem. That's how the tzaddik feels. That doesn't mean that he's necessarily meaning those rechokim. It doesn't mean that he's necessarily on some Kiruv outreach project and he's going out to see people. But by the tzaddik himself, constantly changing and constantly beginning from Aleph, he's Mo'ira of the Jews. They, they, they might not have ever heard of the tzaddik, they never met the tzaddik. But it's Mo'ira of the Jews because the tzaddik is connected, the tzaddik of the generation is connected to everybody. And through the tzaddik changing his garments, <coughs> the tzaddik being Mo'ira himself, other Jews who are far, far away are drawn near. She has Chilum Me'at Aloshu Lashem is Baruch. Vakein, it's tzaddikim Kelly Yesh Lashem is Baruch, Tanugim, Bishashum, Vesparos, Niflu Bacholais. If Hashem has tremendous pleasure and joy and delight, particularly from these tzaddikim all the time, Tanu, Hisparos Chodesh, constantly new Hisparos. That the tzaddik is mischadish b'chol eis always. Um, mosi faholach, that's why Yosef at tzaddik, his name is Yosef. That he was constantly adding and changing, he was constantly different. Mosi faholach b'avadosu, v'aydei his karvus v'chaykim, shaboyim chadoshim l'skarv l'avadosu yizbar. And through the tzaddik doing that, many who are far away are brought near. It's interesting, when Rochel Imenu had Yosef, so we find that by Lei Imenu, so Lei Imenu said, I'm happy for what I have, which is a wonderful midah, of Akar So that's the whole koch of Hoda, of Yehuda, of Mashiach and David, is that Lei Imenu says, even if I would have only this, I'm so grateful, because of course I was the fourth one, and so on. So she's she's grateful. Rachli <coughs> Menu has Yosef at Sadiq, and she names him Yosef because she says, "No, this is not enough." Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. I want to have another son. Hashem should add another son. Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. So it sounds a little bit funny. Instead of saying, "I'm so happy," Aim habonim semeicha mamish that you've given me because I never thought I could have children bechlal, and my own husband said to me, "Atachis alekem anaychi." And, and that Hashem as well gave me, you would think that Rauch Limeinu would have mamish, this would have been, for her, this would have been, she, this, even if you gave me nothing else in my life, I'd be the happiest person in the world. Which of course she was grateful. But what came out from her mouth at that moment, and this is the way of the Tzavi, is Yosef Hashem li ben Acher, ben Acher, no chayid, no chayid. Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. All the Tzadik wants is that there should be other Tzadik. It's all the Tzadik looks for is that Hashem's book should have the spirals from other Jews. And that I should be able to, Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. And Rokh Li is saying is that I had a Yosef, she, so she names, the same, she names the child Yosef, because that from this child, <coughs> who Mr. Hashem will be a big tzad, Yosef Hashem li ben Acher, doesn't just mean for her, for Rokh Li 
that she should have a lot of kids. She should be Yosef, there should be a Tesefus of Kedush in the world. That through one Sadiq becomes Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher. Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher. And therefore, Rav Nosen explains, not here, but Rav Nosen explains how we see how Yosef, it says, Bunar, as B'nai Bila, B'nai Zilpa, right? Who's, what does it mean, Bunar? It's a simple pshat, Bunar. He had a strange relationship with the other, with the brothers. There were the brothers, Mamish Le'imenus, the children of Le'imenu, and the B'nai Shvachis, right? Bunar, Bilha B'nai Zilpa, Rebbe Nassim explains that Hunar is that in order to connect to them, he made himself into a Nar. The way we say it in Yiddish, a Nar. In other words, he made himself into, into a nothing, into a nobody. You read a little bit about Rebbe Nachman's trip to Eretz Yisrael, what was going on with him. The Hunar, what he did, and all of the strange things that he was carrying on, on the boat, and then when he came to Eretz Yisrael, it's, it's, it reads like, I couldn't say it reads like a novel, because it's, it's too strange even to be a novel, but this is what Rebbe Nachman was Isaac in. And we can't even imagine what Rabbi Nachman was trying to fix what he was bringing back. The purpose of his trip was the whole Indian of Mashiach ben Yosef and Mashiach ben David, and to be Ma'ira, this whole Indian of a Hunar, as Bnei Zilpa. Who is Bnei Bilha Bnei Zilpa? It means the Bnei Hashvachas. Who are Bnei Hashvachas? It means people like us. And, and worse than us. A lot worse than us. Bnei Hashvachas means Jews that are like, not in the highest place. And not speak Hashon about anybody. But this generation of people who are far away, the Bnei Hashvachas. So how are you makar of such people? That's all. That's Yosef's whole Indian. It's sad because the brothers hated him, but and they didn't recognize him. The Heim Lohi Kiruhu. They didn't recognize who he really was. His whole Indian was the Nar. So he made himself like a Nar. But the whole Indian of, of him making himself into a Nar was Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher. Was that there should be other Yidden? There should be more. There should be more and more aspirers that Hashem should have from from his children. That Hashem speaks about us like a father who has an only son, or the Bechor, Beni Bechor Yisrael. Such Lashonis of Chiba, of affection, and Aspirus. But Sadik the Ikka Kla Yisrael. The Sadik is the Ikka of Kla Yisrael. Who Ba'atz my Nikra Bain. And the Sadik is called a Bain. In other words, even they were all Bonim. The Sadik is much closer to Hashem Omar Lai Beni Ata. Hashem Omre lai b'ni ata u'machnas u'machnas she ha'tzadik mischadish b'avadosha b'chol pa'am yichadosh and because the tzadik is constantly in this state of Yosef Hashem li and he's constantly adding in his, he's changing he's working on himself he's starting again the tzadik because <coughs> we don't think of the tzadikim like that we think of the tzadikim that, like in all the stories that we read of, that the tzadik like has some special kaychus and he started off when he was nine years old or something and then it's just you know he goes, and it's automatic. But Rabbi Nelson says it's not true. The tzaddik is mascha b'kol pa b'chadish. Every time again, new and new and new. Hu b'chol pa ben chadish eitzel Hashem is baruch. And therefore Hashem has nachas like every day that he comes a new child. The b'chin is Hashem omer lai b'ni ato ani hayom yiladeticha shat tzaddik mascha b'chol pa mechadish kilo noil hayom. By the zah Hashem is baruch misfar wa b'chol pa mechadish kilo yilado hayom keilu he was born that day, which is, by the way, that's the, what, what, that Rabbi Nachman's uncle, who we were just there today, by Rabbi Baruch Meshbitzer, the, the Rabbi Baruch Meshbitzer told that over to Rabbi Nachman by, by his Bar Mitzvah, that the Indian of the Bar Mitzvah is Ani Hayoyim Yiladeticha, today, today. Ani Hayoyim, the whole Indian of Rabbi Nachman is Hayoyim, Hayoyim, in the Kolos Hashmo, Ani Hayoyim Yiladeticha. In other words, the bracha to every day should be Hayoyim. Begin is b'ni ata ni hayoyim l'diticha. Zeh begin is Yosef Hashem li ben acher. Shat tzadik mevakish v'chof it's tamid. Shat Hashem is baruch Yosef lei ba'atzmai ben acher. The tzadik is talking about two things. The tzadik is talking about other Jews coming close, and 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 the tzadik is talking about himself, Yosef Hashem li, that I myself should be from today to tomorrow ben acher. I should be like a different person. From today to tomorrow, Yosef Hashem, help me to become tomorrow a person that is that is not the same person that I was today. Like one of the explanations of why he was called the Yira Kaddish. That's a different neighborhood, the Yira Kaddish. But why he's called the Yira Kaddish. 
So one of the, 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 the reason that's brought down in most of the Makaris is that that the Yidah Kaddish, that the Yidah Kaddish every day, it was Ki'ilu, he just became a Jew that day. So he was called the Yidah Kaddish. Every day, it was like he just started that day. And he says, she said, he's talking about, I'm sure that many of you read the story of the, of the seven beggars, of the, of the seven battlers. There was one of, in one of the, in one of the stories, his spar, there was a, there was the one who was mispar, he, that he was showing off, so to speak. He was taking pride. He was he was mispar, that he's zokin ma'ay. He said, I'm I'm the oldest person, I'm very, very, very old. But what? For Yannik Ma'ay. But I'm a I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a little baby. I'm very old, but I haven't started living yet. That's the tzadi. I'm very old. Nar Hayisi, the Gamzakanti. It's the same thing. Zakanti Nahar Yisi. The Gama Idezer Shat Sadik Moisif Meshadish Babadal Sumasr Bechol Pam Echadash. Idezer, who Makar Bechol Pam Rafaikim Lashem is Bach. And by the Sadik working on himself in this way of Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher. And constantly, constantly being Moisif Meshadish himself, many Jews who are far away come near. Velo Arachaikim Shat Sadi Makar from Lashem is Bach, Hemdekor and Bonim Esal Sadik. And these are like the children of the Sadik. He call him alam is ben chaver Torah kilo yilado because when you teach another Jew Torah either directly or indirectly it's kilo you gave birth to that person. So gam ken bechinas Yosef li ben acher she yiska bechol pam the karev echem yisol michodesh la Hashem is both shul ben acher. So it's also a tefillah. Rabbi Nelson says with davening that we should be able to bring other Jews that all of us should be like this to bring other Jews to our own avoda to bring other Jews close to Hashem. Ben chodesh is a iker is parusi is baruch moishu ino etzor abenu zechan levracha. So Rabbi Nachman says, like we saw by Rabbi Nachman, "Sheikar achashiv is haye etzlo zechar levracha kishaba ish chadosh leskar v'lashem esbarach." The main simcha that Rabbi Nachman would have was when another Jew would come and become part of the chabura to learn that, that to learn uh, and to be miskar v'lashem esbarach. Sheyoka be'enav ma'od yois mikol hanoshim shneskar v'mikvar. When there was somebody new that would come and be part of the chavur and would and would begin with this avoda, that was more precious to Rabbi Nachman. And everything from the past. Ki ikar espiros so ki shaul espiros chadash la Hashem is baruch. Ide eskar was a rochaykim kanal. Zebchinas amahadrin and amahadrin. He puts all of this into the story of Hanukkah. But obviously we understand that the Indian of lighting Hanukkah candles is is Yosef Hashem li ben Acher because the whole din is a din to be Moisef ha'elach, Moisef ha'elach, to add, to add, and the chlal that the the whole story of Hanukkah, which we read about during the parashiyos of Yosef et Tzadik and with his brothers, and the and the din by Hanukkah of Mahadrin and Mahadrin Mina Mahadrin, and the word Hader be Hader Lehader means to come back, to return, to come back, to bring Jews back to Hashem is Baruch Mahadrin Mina Mahadrin to bring back the hidder aspirus the aspirus who bechinis Moisef or Hader bechinis Yosef bechinis at Tzadik she Moisef or Hader who maschil ba'avadosim mechadosh bechal pam she says the ikur aspirus that the Tzadik starts again, starts again to light the candles, nochamol, nochamol, and he adds, and he adds, and he adds, and starts again, and he adds. V'chol ikr espiru shakol yisrael al yodah, to makar of kol erechaykim l'ashem ezbrach, shes ikr espiru es kanal, shes ikr kedush es chanakeh, ke al shem zen nikra chanakeh l'ashem chinach, v'chin es chanoich la na'ar al pi darko, again the lotion of na'ar that we talked about before. Ta'hainuk, shem es chanach echad mechandosh, what does it mean chinach? Chinach, like Rashi says, chinach means to bring, like chanukah zem ezbrach, a chanukah is a mishkim. He's to bring something new into the avodah of Hashem. That's what chinuch is. That's why we use education. The lashon of chinuch. Chanukah is what she mischanuch echad mechadosh or maschil likanis by avodas Hashem. When somebody begins avodas Hashem, that's called chinuch. And ze ikres parusi is brought. That's the ikres pirus that Hashem is brought has. Look at your base. So this this week is the parish of Baal Oischa. Mitzvah Hashem. You know, it's a soul. We'll talk a lot about that. But Baal Oischa. But we're holding by Baal Oischa. So let's just end this little piece now. The Zeb Bechinus, the Zeb Maisa Hamanoira, Miksha Zov, Ad Yerecha, Ad Pircha, Miksha He. So you know that the Menoira, the Menoira was very, very complicated, very beautiful, and there are many, many Pratim of how it was made. But the din was, of course, that it has to be Miksha He. It has to be one, one piece. Yosha Tamivin? Yeah.
Okay. Kim Aide Akshan is God, only if you have big action, stubborn. Stubborn is not a good translation, it knows an action. Ki Harbe, why? Harbe Harpaskois, Valios, Viridis, oh, when a person goes to, if he wants to be Neved Hashem, Harpaskois means like adventures. Goes to a lot of ups and downs, adventures, all kinds of things, Aliyas and Yeridis. Svichin Larva, Kol Echad, Vechad, Blishir. Of course, if you're not trying to be Neved Hashem, then the biggest adventure you have is like an adventure land or something. <laughs> but, but if you want to be a real Eved Hashem, the Aliyahs and the Yeridahs and the Apaskos and the Maniyahs, it's a mamish, back and forth. And if a person is not an action goal, if you're not mamish, if you're not mamish stubborn, an action goal, I just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying, uh, and I, I was in the Chizik, but so far I'm not doing what I list. I'm, I'm, I'm clean for almost a month, Baruch Hashem. I don't mean from drugs. <laughs> I mean from soda. I've been. I'm, I'm a. I'm a person that's addicted to drinking soda for, for the last forty years. Three, four cans a day with caffeine, and and my wife has asked me, and the children have asked me for many years, and I, I, I'm even afraid to talk about it, Barabbas, because I might fail again. I, I started this project twice before. And huh? You have a keychain. Keychain? 30 day keychain. Oh, the, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, to be clean. So I, uh, to, to be misspoiled in that, and I've tried in the past, and so this is the this is what happened. So my Chani was over from Baltimore with Shirley, and and I had such a look as they're telling me, oh, we're so proud of you, Dad, we're so proud of you, like, you know, they're trying to, they do what I try to do with them. Give me positive reinforcement, they're very proud of you, Daddy, and they get me different color flavored seltzers, you know, pink grapefruit, Perrier or something, and and we're so proud of you, Daddy, we're so proud of you. <clears throat> My wife is saying, ah, he'll never do it, he'll never do it. <laughs> kids are saying, right? <laughs> But, but my kids are saying, Daddy, could, Daddy, it's Gvaldi, it's Gvaldi, it's Gvaldi. They try to buy me different flavored seltzers, you know, and all these things in the physic. And, to, and, and, and the Akshan is. So, and I was walking with Surly to Shul. And um, so I said, so, so I was saying, Daddy, it's really a great thing. You know, you really got to keep it up. And, and I said, I said, you know, Mommy said that it's not such a bad thing if on Shabbos I have a little <laughs> <laughs> And I wouldn't get a bottle. But I would get just a can, you know, a can, whatever. And to have by Friday night a can, and by Shabbos morning a can of soda. And uh, <coughs> so Sully so just, he stopped working. And he said, no, that's not how it goes, Dad. <laughs> that's not how it goes. So, so I said, but, yeah, but, but Mommy said I could do that. <laughs> I have a can, I have a can Friday night, just a little, a little Coke Zero, just a can. You know? And uh, in the airport lounge, I was looking to have those little baby ones. So, so well, I'm sick, I have a can. So he said, listen, he said, you know, I have a very from this year, the guys that got seriously like, addicted and stuff, and alcohol and other stuff. And, and the only way that you could, the only way to really get over it is if it's like, just not part of your reality. It's just... You, you just have to be in action, like totally out. You can't do that Shabbos, because then, uh, then it becomes part of your life. It's still in your life. You can't do it like that. To be an Eved Hashem, of course that's only a marshal, but to be an Eved Hashem, you have to be an action goal. Big, big action. Because <coughs> you start something, and, and it's such a, it's such a it's hard that when you start something, page 22, that you start something, it's it, to keep it up and to keep it going, like in learning when you have a project in learning, or in, in, in either Sumerara or Say type, it's very hard. The hardest thing, the hardest thing is staying is staying with it, is keeping with it. But I wanted to do this also because even though I know we're not moving to Eitzis, so we're just going there for a couple of days in Eitzis. But maybe maybe it's a service in our lives that. 
to follow this order. Rabbi Nelson and Rabbi Nachman were filled with, filled with an ahava, a love of Eretz Yisrael. You cannot, don't see by the other Talmud of Hashem, such an ahava to Eretz Yisrael like you see by Rabbi Nachman and Rabbi Nelson. The tefillahs of Rabbi Nelson got me Eretz Yisrael, and Rabbi Nachman is all in you with Eretz Yisrael. That he said, Lashon is like everything that I have and everything that I am is Eretz Yisrael. Very, very strong Lashon you don't find by any of the Talmud of Hashem. Even though there were those that went, of course. But we don't find such a hysterical for Eretz Yisrael like by Rabbi Nachman and Rabbi Nelson. Such a hysterical for Eretz Yisrael. It's a befrat when Sarah of a Eretz Yisrael. And everyone else is a befrat when it comes to moving to Eretz Yisrael. She says, Ike Kedushas Isha Yisrael. You hear what Rabbi Nelson says? Can I have a tissue or something? Ike Kedushas Isha Yisrael. Because the Ike Kedusha of a Jew. The Ike Nitzachan HaMolchama. And the main Nitzachan to be victorious in the Molchama. Right? That goes back to what we had in the bus, because he can't win. So over here it says, over here it says, the Vada he says, you can't be Mansa. It's right what you said. You can't be Mansa Milchama. 